Taiwan is an island nation located in East Asia, just off the coast of mainland China. It has a population of around 24 million people and a rich cultural heritage that combines Chinese, Japanese, and indigenous influences. Its capital city is Taipei, which is a bustling metropolis that offers a mix of modern and traditional attractions. It was a great place for us to begin our Southeast Asia adventures. We're John and Bev, and we are the Retirement Travelers. If you've been following along with us, you know that we were most recently in New Zealand, Australia, and the South Pacific. Well, we took an 11 and a half hour flight from Auckland, New Zealand to the city of Taipei. Now, Taiwan is our 72nd country, but it's a country that we knew as children. I think everyone our age as children knew about Taiwan because all of our toys said made in Taiwan on it. Well, today they've transitioned from children's toys to semiconductors. In fact, Taiwan is the undisputed world leader in semiconductors. We were planning to start our Southeast Asia adventure in Vietnam, where we currently are. We had a four hour layover in Taipei, which is kind of a common thing if you're traveling in Asia. We decided to turn that four hours into 48 hours and make it a long layover. Now, we know that 48 hours is just scratching the surface for Taiwan, but we figured might as well go see it while we had a chance right now. At least get to see Taipei and know if we wanted to come back and we know we want to come back. First things first. Americans do not need a visa to come into Taiwan. They have a system called e-visas, and this is the same thing that happened to us in some parts of Europe. We could come in, walk up to the kiosk, scan our passport, and we walked into a little booth, they took our picture, and we exited. Number two, now after arriving at the airport, there's, a, there's several ways to get into town, but what we recommend is taking the train, which they call the MRT there. Now there are two different MRTs. There's an express train that has like three stops between the airport and town, and there's the non-express, which we took the first time, <laughs> which has about 15 stops. So we highly recommend the express train. Uh, it's about $10 a person uh, or less, very reasonable, and it takes you all the way into the center of town. Yeah, and when you get there, if you need a taxi, it's easy to get from there, but it's about a 45 minute ride. Yes, and it takes you to the main station in town. So if you're going somewhere else from there, you can take the MRT, uh, one of the other lines anywhere in town. Number three. The people of Taiwan are the nicest people we've met. Mm -hmm. And we're not joking about this. When we arrived in New Zealand, we had heard about Kiwi hospitality and how friendly everyone was. And we found that to be true from the minute we stepped off the plane in New Zealand. But Taiwan, almost stepped it up a notch. They I, were just so nice. It's amazing. Nice. It's almost like there's a global competition. <laughs> Who can be the nicest to us? And everybody is trying so hard. It's unbelievable. It is unbelievable, but people would stop us on the street. I don't know if we just look clueless. We, or... we kind of stood out a little bit, okay? I'm just saying it wasn't just the shirts. We stood out, but people, if it looked like we were looking for directions or something, people would come up to us and offer assistance. It was amazing. Yeah, everyone was so nice. We just loved that about them. So number four, this is a country with great natural beauty. Now we only had 48 hours, so we concentrated in Taipei, but this is an incredibly beautiful country. Very, very mountainous. It has nine national parks. And we learned kind of an unusual little fact. Did you know that Taiwan actually has more 10,000 foot mountain peaks than Colorado? So in fact, double, don't they? It's about double. So it's a very rugged mountainous. So when we come back, it's all going to be about hiking, waterfalls, mountains, beaches. It, it really has it all. So we can't wait. Number five, the costs are pretty similar to the United States, only deduct about 25%. We like that. <laughs> we like that a lot. Now we stayed in the Hotel Papa Whale and it was kind of a unique little place to stay, but it was about 15 minutes from the train station. So we walked there. They had the most incredible breakfast. It was dumplings, it was soup, it was um, just noodles, it was everything. It was just this huge buffet of food. That was kind of a mid-range hotel. Mm -hmm. There were certainly luxurious high rises downtown, but there were also cheaper places. Number six is take the Metro. They have a great Metro system there. Now we did walk a lot in town, but we purchased two 48 hour passes on the MRT 
for a less than ten dollars each so we could go anywhere we needed it's a pretty extensive uh, system it was uh, the, a bargain it was a it was a real bargain and we thought it was clean and safe and a very nice metro system number seven the people are patient and kind and orderly. They wait in line, they queue very well. There are lines on the floor to get into the Metro. Like you stand in a line to get on, you wait for everybody to get off and then everyone in the line goes forward. I mean, it was like this everywhere we went. Let's talk about some of the things to do in Taipei, whether you're there for a layover or a longer visit. And in the first thing for us is we always have to go to the, the highest place or the tallest building. You have to go to the I highest have to place. <laughs> so if you remember, we went to the Burj Khalifa when we were in Dubai. Well, in Taipei, it is the Thai, called Taipei 101. And actually, it was the tallest building in the world in 2004. Uh, until the Burj Yeah, and it lasted about five years until the Burj Khalifa overtook it as the tallest building in the world. And now it's actually the 11th uh, highest building in the world. So they're, they're, they're building a lot of high, tall buildings around the world. I know, it kind of broke my heart because I thought, oh, we can check that one yeah, off. We've gotten the Burj Khalifa, we'll get this one. We'll be able to start uh, checking uh, these buildings off. A top 10 building. But they it, just keep going. Yeah, it's an amazing structure. It's a, it's a wonderful building. We went up to the top and a very reasonable, uh, reasonable price to get up, a super fast elevator. It wasn't crowded. And when we got to the top, we were the first ones in the observation deck and we were able to do a full 360 lap around the building. Yeah, that was so fun. very, very memorable uh, experience going to the top of Taipei 101. The next thing you should definitely do when you're in Taipei, in fact, when you're in Taipei 101 is head down to the mall and there is a restaurant there called Den Tai Fong, I think is how you pronounce it. And they are famous for their dumplings. Now these dumplings were the best dumplings we've ever had. They were delicious and you get to watch them make it. Now that was an incredible process in itself, just watching these guys. They were professional dumpling makers. They were professionals, <laughs> but the food was overall so good. The service was great. They were efficient. It was the place that I cannot wait to go back and eat when we go back. Yes, highly recommended. The next thing you need to do is go to Don Forest Park. I don't know if I'm saying it right, D-A-A-N, okay? But it was one of the best city parks that we've ever been in. I mean, we, we took a nice long walk and I think what we liked about it, it was just so vibrant. It was, it was as full of life uh, as any park we've ever seen. And what we mean by that is there was kids playing everywhere, uh, all ages of people. You might see an older gentleman doing Tai Chi and a, and a kid's, kid's racing through the park. It was in, impeccably clean. Yeah. Um, it had lots of wildlife. In fact, we, we watched the birds at a rookery there. Um, it building had nest and, building nests uh, and everything. It had all these like little uh, uh, sculptures and yeah, it was just fun uh, it, and whimsical. It, it was whimsical. It was it was a wonderful, wonderful park. Ho highly recommend taking a walk and just enjoying uh, nature there at Don Forest Park. The next place you should head is the National Palace Museum. Now this is a little bit away from the Taipei 101. You can actually take a shuttle bus from Taipei 101 and get there. Um, this museum has a lot of Chinese artifacts. When people left China after the revolution, they took a lot of artifacts from Forbidden City. And those are housed in this museum. This museum was just an incredible place. It was lovely to see. It was traditional architecture. And so we really highly recommend it. Lastly, when you go to Taipei, you must do one of the night markets. Now there are a number of night markets uh, throughout all, spread out all over the town. We happen to go to one that's one of the most famous ones called the Selin Night Market. And we had a great time. We had a full belly. <laughs> yes, we hit a lot of stuff in our stomachs that night. <laughs> a little embarrassing, but it was delicious. It's doughy cheese this on a, a stick. It's a match made in heaven for me. Cranberry and lemon juice. Ah, yeah, I'll taste. We'll take one. And just like this, it was perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cranberry juice is very tart. This is very sweet. <laughs>
this night market has been there for I think like a hundred years. Yes, or more. and and it also was very vibrant. Lots and lots of young people, uh, and it's kind of a combination of food booths and other merchandise of all kinds yeah, of you stuff. You can buy shoes. You, you can, can buy, buy clothes. You name it, you could buy it there. But we went for the food. And we did a, we did a lot of sampling. Now you we know, did do a lot of sampling, some I, really good sampling. I know. I got to tell you about my personal favorite. I want to make them. I want to make them every day. So basically, <laughs> what it is, it was like it was like mini muffins. Okay, <laughs> think of mini muffins, and they poured uh, egg in it. They put cheese on top of that, and then put a uh, shrimp on top of that. So think of a baby shrimp and cheese omelet. And it then, was so good. And then they baked it over an open flame and I tell you and then put salt and pepper on it or other seasonings it was incredible I could I just couldn't stop eating I just wanted to go there the whole night he's like let's just go back to that same place and I'm like no we need to try other stuff yeah. but we ate some good stuff definitely go go to a night market uh, they usually open up about four o'clock we four went five, yeah we went about times. seven o'clock at night and it was hopping you know yeah. seven to nine at night it was oh a, but you a, also played some games are you ready this is a lot of pressure I can do this. Yeah. 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 Oh, no. I got a prize. It's tissues. It's like, I don't know what it is. What is this? What is this? I was on a roll. I hit the first three, and then I, that fourth one was a stumper for me. We needed tissues anyway, didn't yes, we? Yes, we got tissues. They're Little, so cute. So cute. I really wanted to win one of those stuffed animals for Bev. Like, you know she can fit one of those in her backpack. <laughs> But you won tissues. I did win tissues. And, and that was fun. And so all in all, it was a wonderful visit in Taipei, and it really just made us yearn to want to come back for a much longer visit. Yes, everybody we know who's been to Taipei or to Taiwan has said it was one of their favorite places. So be sure you put it on your list. And uh, this week we're in Vietnam. We're in Ho Hanoi. Hanoi. We're heading where? We are going to Hoi An to the Lantern Festival. It's been on my bucket list a long time. I know, we can't wait. And then we're heading to Ho Chi Minh City. So uh, be sure to join us for Vietnam and the rest of Southeast Asia. See you next time. Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along on our retirement journey around the world.